This video will demonstrate how you can export Microsoft Planner task comments using Microsoft Graph Explorer. Now, before we get into the steps to extract these comments, this is just a quick preview of what the output format will look like. Now you can see here that the comments are displayed in JSON format. And a really important note, the comments will include HTML markup. So you can see here this attribute content is the actual comment from this particular planner task. And unfortunately, you can see that this comment has HTML markup embedded with it. Now let's go ahead and let's walk through the steps to extract these comments. All right, now the first thing that you need to do is find the plan and group ID for the Microsoft planner plan that is hosting the task for which you want to export the comments. Now I want to export the comments for this create project charter task. And you can see here if I scroll down that there are a whole bunch of comments here. Now to do this, I've navigated to the plan in Teams and I am going to click on the tab and I am going to click on open in browser. Now you can see here this has brought me into MS Planner on the web. Next, you want to place your cursor in the URL and you want to select the text starting from group ID all the way to the end of the value here in the address bar. Now I'll go ahead and copy this and you can see here I've brought up notepad and I'm just going to paste this value in to notepad. Now you'll see here that this string features a group ID value and that is everything up into this ampers and symbol. Now I'll go ahead and just separate these values as we're going to need these values in order to export these comments. Next, you want to navigate to Microsoft Graph Explorer. Now Graph Explorer allows you to execute API calls for various Microsoft 365 apps and services. Now the first thing that you'll need to do here is sign in with your account. So I'll go ahead and click on the sign in button and I'll select my account here. Now, once you've signed in, you should see the name of your Microsoft environment under the word tenant here. Now, if you would prefer to follow along with text-based instructions, you can purchase a copy of the companion guide to this tutorial. The companion guide is a text-based document that will outline the same steps covered in this tutorial complete with screenshots. If you're interested in purchasing a copy for less than the price of a coffee, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen, or you can click the link that is included in the description of this video. And if this is the first time that you are accessing the Graph Explorer, what you'll want to do is come into modify permissions. And what you'll need to do is consent to have access to these different permissions. Now you can see here right now, I've just consented to this read permission, you can go ahead and review these different permissions and consent to the ones that you'll require access to. Now I'll go ahead and click back on request body. Now the next thing that we'll need to do is execute an API call to Microsoft Planner. Now I'll place my cursor in the search field here and I will search for Planner. And this is going to allow me to quickly view some of the out of the box API calls that are available in Graph Explorer. And specifically what I'm going to do is click on this action that says get all planner tasks for a plan. So I'll just double click this and I want you to pay attention to the field here. Now you can see here what this has done is it has updated the API call. And what we'll need to do now is we will need to pass in the plan ID from the previous step. Now you can see here that I have pasted in the plan ID. And next what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click run query. And you can see here that this API call executed successfully. Now I'll just resize this so we can see the response. Now in this menu here, you can see the response preview. And this is going to show me a list of all of the planner tasks that exist in that plan. Now, what you'll want to do next is you'll want to find the specific task that you want to export the comments for. Now, unfortunately, using this approach, you can only export the comments from one task at a time. So if you have to export comments from multiple tasks, you'll have to repeat these steps. 
Now what I've done is I've scrolled down and I have found the task titled Create Project Charter. Now you can see that here and again, you're going to see a list of attributes from the planner task displayed in the response preview. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to find the attribute called conversation thread ID and you'll want to go ahead and copy this value. This is what is going to allow us to actually identify and extract all of the comments that were created and posted on this task record. Now you can see here I've selected this and I'll go ahead and copy it. Now you can see here that I've brought up Notepad and again I've pasted in my conversation thread ID. Now the next thing that we'll need to do is execute another different API call. And this one here is extracting conversation thread and posts. And you'll see here that this call takes two parameters, the group ID and the conversation ID. Now I will grab that group ID that we copy and pasted from the first step and I will place it in this API call here in Notepad first. And then I'm going to take that conversation thread ID value and I'm going to also paste that into my call. And now I will select this and I'm gonna come back into Graph Explorer and I am going to paste that in here and I am going to run this. And you can see here our success 200 message. And you can see in the response preview, what this is showing is a list of all of the comments that exist on that specific task record. Now the results are going to display in chronological order and there are going to be additional attributes included in this extract. Now you can find the comment value in this attribute called content. Now what's really unfortunate is that the HTML markup is also included in this extract, but you can see here, this is comment one, so you can find the comments in this content field amidst the HTML markup. Now, if I scroll down, you're going to see here the additional comments. So you can see again, this is comment two. And if I keep going, you can see here, this is comment three. You'll actually even see lengthier comments here as well. Now, if I want to be able to export this, I can simply select this entire response preview. I can copy this and then I can paste it into some other medium, whether that's a Word doc, a PowerPoint, or an Excel file. Now, if you found this video helpful, you might also be interested in one of these tutorials. I've included links to them in the description below, or you can check them out on my YouTube channel homepage. See you in the next video.